How's it going? Hey guys, we just coming from Vegas. Yep. What's on the trailer? Dirt bikes. Oh, cool. Thank you. Decent number of people here. It's windy and cool, not too bad. Should be a good ride tomorrow, I'm hoping. It looks like a ghost town in here. Thanks to COVID 1984. This is so stupid. Why even have the fireplace on? Is it even a real fire? Oh, it is. So we got a brand new 450L, it looks it like. Yeah, it looks like a... Is it heavier and slower than a uh, Yamaha? No, it's got or a six a gear. Doesn't it have a six gear? I don't know. Does that matter? I don't know. Probably not. A DRZ representing. I don't know. What else we got here? Some Husky 350. That looks nice. That's interesting little tank on top like that. What is that? A, a nut crusher right there on the top? Yeah, but what about that's got the, that's an old is that an old 650R, dude? Yeah, old school. Right, what else we got here? A GS. Is this guy doing the hard ways? No, those tires. <laughs> They're gonna do the highways, not the hard ways. <laughs> what do we got here? A Beta. There we go. It does the levers like that. Everything, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's a so nice clay left-handed clutch. My I like I like where they're storing their their tire. Tool. Oh, was that already tire there? Uh-huh. The tire spoon right there. That's awesome. No snow like last year. This is how you take care of your gear, huh? This is our room service Thanksgiving dinner. Mmm. <laughs> look at that. Delicious. Hello? Yep, I heard you. All right, GPSs are loaded. All right, back at the hotel room, got the packet. So the total miles is going to be 218 for day one. We're going to go up through Ridgecrest. So there's three hard sections I see on the map. We just finished eating our breakfast. Just gotta pack up and, and go. There's the line to get the roll chart. So we were told. Look at that. Neck scarf. What do you think, jacket or no jacket? No jacket. Yeah. I'll try not to trash the truck and trailer. Okay. All right, disclaimer for, for this year's LABDV 2020 video, you're gonna notice that Brian's radio sounds absolutely horrible. And the reason is, it's this speaker right here. And so my plan was, is to be able to capture the radio talk between me and Brian. And uh, fortunately, it didn't work this year. Something's wrong with the speaker. Either it's wired incorrectly, or the impedance is wrong, or something, but it just sounds like a garbled mess. I didn't check it well enough before the ride. And um, so the microphone is right here. That's why Brian sounds absolutely terrible. I swear getting the audio right is one of the hardest things to do with this whole system, but hopefully next year I'll get it to sound better. So here we are, 2020 LAB to V. Not too bad. I'm really the only difference from summer what I wear is uh, I got a pair of uh, these super light pants on and a thermal. That's it. And I'm a little cool right now, but it's gonna be a nice day. All right, this button placement is gonna need some fine tuning. 
it works pretty well, but kind of hits the uh, the turn signals a little bit. Look at that six days to the right of you. He's still got the turn signals sticking out the back, so either he's a really good rider or that's a brand new bike. <laughs> Getting a little cool. Just gotta get off this highway. Yep, here we go. Finally, the dirt. underwater last year too. What a difference. Good? Alright, let's go. I gotta stop at the top and fix my radio so um, I think it's just pressing a button in my bag, so it'll be easy to fix, I hope. Yeah, I hear you fine. It just keeps going to the FM radio. So I think it's pushing the button, so I keep hearing static, but I hear you fine. Down. You alright? Yep, he looks alright. That was a good crash. <laughs> that was nice of you to go down there and help the guy out. Yep, I hear ya. Oh guy's bags about to come off his bike. There's a guy in front of me and his blue bag is about to come off his bike. I think it's about to get wrapped up in his wheel. Oh shit. Your blue one and your red one is right there, so. Yeah, I just took Okay. Finally, the blue one got sucked into his wheel and locked up his rear tire, so that's how he knew his bag fell off. Yeah, keep going straight down the highway. They're adding more fence. Interesting. So some gorgeous weather. Turn around the wrong way. Sorry, I gotta reposition my, my switch, I think. Needed more fuel testing, I guess. Like this. There we go. Grumpy photo. Yeah, it's, t it's a terrible place. I gotta remember to wipe the camera lens. No, it's right here on the left, I think. We 
We go under right here. What? No. I think I know why, it's pretty short. <laughs> ah. I'm following the GPS. The GPS is a little weird. Keep going. We're totally on it, look. Yep, I see it. It's a little off. <laughs> it's a photo, do your yawning or something. Funny. I've never tried standing on this seat. Is it hard? Now, if you were standing on the seat and not touching the bars, that would be impressive. Oh. Shape there. Oh. 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 Yeah, we turn left. This is the same route as John, the first time John did it with us. All right, it's a gas up time. Pumps for gas. Don't forget the check point underneath the flag. Okay. What year is that? 58. 58, nice. 5 8. 5 8, yeah, exactly, nice. That's sweet. Uh, don't drop it, I guess, huh? Is this one also a 58? No, this one's a 78, actually. A 78, I like the style of it. What brand is that? What bike is that anyways? It's a Triumph, but it's a Rickman chassis. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, if you can, I'll just slowly pass people too. That's going to mess somebody up right there. Oh. <laughs> I hit that wood. Where's the wind? Don't you need it? I think that's that brand new seven days. He's got his tail lights on still. Or his turn signals are still attached to his bike. That's what I meant to say. Nope, it's a different bike. I hear you. It's just hard to hit the button sometimes. Oh. 
lot of looks, but so far so good. Oh boy, he's down. He looks all right. Yeah, I hit a fast neutral right on a whoop. That scared me. Oh. Hit that one just wrong. There's going to be a hard left in about a mile, I guess. There's that big pipe that I don't know what it is. I'm guilty of following people the wrong way too, so. Oh, I remember this. Old mine right there. See the circles, the yellow and the green and the line, it's like what the hell? <laughs> yeah, this is where that guy hit my bars. I kind of was, uh, I don't know, bouncing around from the whoops and, yep. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, you did it earlier today. Yeah, it's almost usable. Not bad. What happened to your left glove? Oh, from when you fell on the railroad tracks. I think that was technically a tip over. Oh. This is the only way to go, so. Okay. nice right here. I like this little trail. It's got some rain ruts so you but nothing bad. Kind of just jump from side to side. Let's just make it to the top of the hill before I look at my GPS. We were supposed to take that left turn right there. Yeah, we gotta go back down. Yeah, it would be that super steep downhill that we did that one year. <laughs> I think this is still all. Yeah, I think the hard sections. There's only three little ones. Yeah, there's a ribbon. It's real hard to see, though. Uh -huh. 
pasado. Ah, look at this down here. This is pretty good right here. Little bit of front brake. The back's pretty much locked. Whoa. Whoa. I think so. That'd be a little scary on a 1200, huh? Man, this is a nice ride right here. I mean, this is just, the weather is perfect, other than a little breeze to get the dust out of the way. The temperature is just amazing. So we go left, okay. A little rain rut. The, uh, Bright, sunny, nice. Feels really nice. This is a good LABDV right here. Uh oh. I saw him pick up his bike. Did you see him go down? I don't know if he went down, but he may have just tipped over when he saw a rain rut, but... Oh. <laughs> I missed that turn. Camera turned off, so I don't know why. Anyways, we're here at Ridgecrest. Sucks. I wonder how much footage I lost. I think this will be the last time we have to gas up until we get back. Those guys are going backwards, but I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. So I see a LAB to V streamer. This isn't part of the the drought, but it should be. <laughs> I think we go under the tunnel. I just, I cannot stand what they did with this. There's these, these red circles fucking everywhere. It's a disaster. an LAB to V guy. That guy was LAB to V. I saw the sticker. So I'm not the only one that thinks these GPS tracks are not the greatest. Yeah, keep going straight. This is shite. The way this GPS is is just there is shit everywhere.
going backwards. We have to go just a little bit. We just have to find this turn and then turn left, it looks like. Ah, okay. That should be the red. Okay. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Do we skip the hard ways? I think we skipped one, yeah. Sucks. It does suck. Where are we? We're right there. Okay, where do we need to go? <laughs> this is such, this is ridiculous. I mean, I know we d did pretty much everything right to Ridgecrest. It's just, I think we just have one hard section and then we're in Palmdale, honestly. Or Barstow. Or Barstow, yeah. I believe this is Barstow. An adventure bike turning around. Oh. <laughs> so this is the hard section. I remember this too. We did it with John. It wasn't really hard, it was just rocky, kind of rough. I don't know, it's kind of nice. <laughs> Did you see that guy? <laughs> I don't know if it's because I was behind him, so he was trying to go a little faster. I think I was a little bit. I mean, I was looking for a place to pass him, so. Oh yeah, I remember that mine shaft right there too. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Oh, that was a bad combination. I hit a rock right as I was trying to turn to miss that bush. And, and the tire skidded sideways. It's not too bad. We've done worse. I'll take this over whoops any day of the year. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Alright, so this hard section is fun. It's hard in the sense that um, it's just a lot of rocks and it's really rough. And then you got turning and gravel and sand with rocks. So that'll, if you're tired, it makes it so much worse. You have to have your reactions need to be okay because you're always correcting and when you're tired your reactions go and then it's just miserable but if you feel if you have energy it's kind of fun that's right that's how we win we are we're the tortoise I'm trying to use very little energy coming through here. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, you kind of got to hold on if you're about to hit a rock. 
it's a little scarier when you don't have a stabilizer too. Right now it doesn't. The bike feels... You kind of forget how nimble a bike feels without one. Another crash. <laughs> this is a this is a good place to drop it right here. Oh shit! Getting tired. Making mistakes. A little straight away. Take a little break. It's almost smooth enough to sit. If I wore any more clothes, I would be on fire. I'm already a little warm with just a thermal and a jersey and my gear. Yeah, I, I think you remember because that was a funny part in the video. I was kind of annoyed because you guys took off and then went the wrong way. Off trail. Okay. Definitely a little tired now. Amazingly, though, it's not my legs that are tired. It's my. I say my arms and my shoulders this year. So that's why I'm trying to sit down just to preserve my shoulders from pulling back on a bar. Now let's take a one minute breather. Woo. So this was the time when uh, this guy asked about the GP, asked about the roll charts. And I said, I don't know, he, he does the roll chart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he even acknowledged them. He just looked at me. Whoa, a little more front brake. A little less back brake. Keep the bike straighter. I like this road right here. This is kind of fun. Yeah, it looks like they were placed there almost, doesn't it? Aliens. <laughs> you saw this open open road and let it rip. Well, FNA or something on it. F U N R. Yep, I'm right behind you. And yes, we were supposed to turn, turn, turn there. That guys, they're just out riding. guys got their uh, their numbering down then it was like all every guy, black guy two three or I, backwards I guess if I could count backwards three two one zero this beta is nice 390 doesn't disappoint nice when you can just skip across the top of 
three whoops like that. I don't know, but it's straight according to the GPS, so look out for cross traffic. Yeah, we're selling 273. A razor went flying right behind you. If I was closer to you, we could have had a T-bone. Now, I didn't see you, but I saw the razor slamming on his brakes because he realized the motorcycle was going one by. How you guys doing? Yeah, let's keep going. Ah, sand, soft sand, flat. I think flat's the most important thing. Ow. All right, we're off the hard stuff now. We're on the back on the green. The tortoise passes two more riders. I like that tree too. That looks very picturesque. I wish I had something like that in my front yard. That'd be so cool. So the wind came back, so that's nice. What a difference. A little breeze. So this is really ideal weather. I think so. I think so. Oh, well, fuck it. I'm going now. No, this was the way. gonna roll these whoops for a minute. <sighs> Goes down here to the left. I remember that too. Ah. Come on, bike. Get on plane. There we go. Yep, I remember this sandy wash. <laughs> I was not expecting those whoops. how a branch can hit my finger with my hand guard. Oh my goodness. Woo. Fun little downhill. I guess I should be giving him the two sign for you. I'm too lazy. Oh my god. 
Whoops up proof that Mother Nature hates off-road vehicles. That guy, he's got energy. I have a feeling those are the same guys that uh, went the wrong way up that hill. That's the same guy I've seen before. He's got this antenna that points perfectly straight up next to, right next to his helmet. No more whoops. One minute break time. I hit one whoop in the sand so hard, it felt like I hit both my brakes full. It's all coming back to me. The sand, the whoops, the tiredness. All this garbage. The sore back. <laughs> a lot of sore back? Yeah. My, the only thing that's bothering me are my forearms. Yeah, my shoulders, and I got the left side of my back is sore. This is making my finger tired. Oh, loosen it up. Uh, see it? I don't want to, it's kind of loose as it is. Oh, see how loose mine is? And I, I, for, I actually forgot it was there. All right. You're just out of riding shape. I know. But you're young, so it doesn't matter. Compared to me, you're young. Don't crash in the sand. Oh, God. Come on, turn the bike in the sand. Yeah, I guess that is straight. On a GPS, it's kind of just straight, yeah. This is where John had to fix his flat tire, and they wouldn't let him bring savvy things on the plane. I say we just keep on rolling. We have been at the Husky Monument several times. That is so hard to... There he is, okay. Hold on. Here, hold on a second. There's a, th a thousand things going on on my GPS. I need to stop and take a look. There's Barstow right there. And then that long highway. So yeah. Okay. Whatever is straighter. Because straight is what it looks like on my GPS. So that is this way. Oh. A little spine tingler right there. Oh yeah, I'm starting to get some dust, so I'll probably see him here in a minute. Pass him. You pretty much know the way now, I'm pretty sure. Get behind him and, and pin it off the rev limiter or freak him out. I'm behind him now too. Got a Liat helmet. Those helmets are ridiculously expensive. There's a right turn coming up, hard right. All right, so we're not completely done with day one, but I think we pretty much got this one in the bag. 
went pretty good. I think there was one hard section we missed somehow, a little one. I don't know, I'll have to look at the GPS. They have all these red rings, the warnings and stuff, and it makes it real hard to see the hard route. So, got to figure out a way to turn those off for tomorrow. Feel pretty good. My shoulders and I, my back's a little sore, but the rest of my body is, uh, I mean, I can tell I've been riding all day, but I can stand, I can sit. My hands, they're a little tired, but I could grab the bars and jump over some whoops if I had to. Not as fresh as that guy, obviously. Oh man, now I got dust. Slow down. There's a rock that I didn't see. The dust. All right, now I can see again. Oh, oh, oh. The whoops, they just keep on coming. But you sounded clear on the radio, so you can't be that far. Yeah, those guys are only a little faster than me. Oh, I see them now. scary <laughs> at least there's no whoops gotta look at the good it's sand it's curvy there's rocks but, but no whoops Can you hear me, Brian? Oh, where is he? Brian, can you hear me? This isn't good. I don't hear him. Hello, hello. Mm, well, we got some light, so. I don't know if my friend missed his turn or not. That's the only problem, so. Okay, anyways, I was here waiting, talking to sleep, so, all right. Yeah, I was getting a little worried because I heard you say that rattled me, and I'm like, uh-oh. But yeah, you must have made the turn. There must have been some bikes sitting there, and you just made it and didn't even realize it. <laughs> I like that sweep is always on <laughs> old Hondas. <laughs> Old reliables. Oh. I remember this hill, the little lava rock scattered across this hill. Oh, well, that was a bad line. with more rocks. I think the razors have knocked a lot of the rocks out of here. Oh, there's still some rocks. That is the wrong helmet. You get so much dust on the dual sport helmet, it's a nightmare. Yep. I think I'm riding up the hardest stuff. Maybe not hard is the right word, but the roughest. All right, this word is a, this road is officially worse than the road to Gene.
Yeah, yeah, she's pointing right. That's not a ranger. That's just a, I don't know, some lady. Not you, you mean like a park ranger? I don't think so. I think that's some lady for the uh, ride. There was no markings on the truck I saw. Whoa, almost crashed there. Trying to hit the button. Yeah, it does. It's vitally important. We're going to go back and review the, the tape. I can probably pass this guy, but... He's actually going at kind of a comfortable pace. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry to catch him now. Yeah. That would be a, a good sign of a concussion, I would think. Well, I better be careful and not crash. So far, I've been good. Nothing. Had to put a foot down a few times, but that's about it. I don't like this pad, I've lost my speedometer. Still not cool at all, it's pretty nice. Yeah, we got plenty of sun. We might even be at that gas station. Might still be some daylight. Yeah, I mean, it looks kind of cool, but... Luckily, there's no dust in front of me at this exact second. Oh, that was a bottom out on the suspension. Oh man, that sun's gonna be rough. All right. I almost went straight over the hill because I couldn't see where the road was going because of the sun. That's a good crash when you bend the bars or knock them out of alignment, I would say. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, oh, well. That's what you get for just assuming that they don't change. This is the way we normally go, but they changed it. So now we go this way, in there. Uh, Doesn't that suck? But we're way past that now. With the sun right there, I ain't going back. I forgot what the pamphlet said. It was right at 200 though, maybe like 205. God, this is the worst city of Barstow. I don't know, I'm very confused. I think so, but we'll see. Did they move it to a different hotel? I don't think so. Because this says Lindo Hotel, see? Huh. Lindwood Motel. Oh, does it? Mm-hmm. Huh, maybe it is a different hotel. Yeah, I think us assuming that it was at the same place was a mistake. I think we should have read our pamphlet better. Whoa, I'm running out of gas, dude. I'm for sure running out of gas. Let's turn around. Gas! <laughs> Think of the gas hog. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's so close. Well, 
I can push it now. I'm in pushing distance. <laughs> don't die, bike. <laughs> don't die. I don't want to push it. See a tendon. Fuck you. We'll go to the hotel. Maybe we'll just throw the bikes in the trailer and, and take a shower and then check in. That might be nice. We screwed up this one by not reading more carefully where everything was. Oh yeah. The little Christmas angel looks familiar. I just want to see. Yeah, look at that. Nobody. Nobody, man. They moved it on us. Ah. All right, after a long day of riding, this is the footage. Hopefully there's some good stuff in there. Charging the batteries. Charging the battery for the camera for tomorrow. So we're gonna go to sleep, try to get a good night's sleep because we are pretty tired. And uh, hopefully tomorrow goes good too. <laughs>